Imagine having no control over the biggest day of your life, your wedding day. I'm just scared. Or worse, that all control has been given to your mother. Or even more outrageous, your mother-in-law. <laughs> this is Gina Sole, wedding planner extraordinaire. I love it, I love it. She creates stunning weddings for her clients. I need 500 by Friday. Her standards are high and she demands and gets the best for her client's big day. Meet Damien and Dahlia. They're going to have to deal with Gina's little twist. You have to hand over full control of your wedding to one of your mothers. That is not going to happen. I do not want this wedding to be an expensive wedding. I'm very extravagant. I love fancy stuff. Will this be the wedding of their dreams or a total nightmare? It's way too expensive. Come on, girl. May the best mom win. I'm the best mom. No way. Damien and Dahlia are a match made in musical heaven. Yeah, you make my day Every time you come my way We make beautiful music together. We do make beautiful music. I agree. You agree? We make great music. I wouldn't say beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, that's why we're two partners in crime. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I love him to death. He's amazing. His eyes, that's what won me over, his eyes. You're a good catch. I'm a good catch. Wow. I proposed to Delia at her mother's anniversary, her parents' anniversary, actually. You were saying a speech to my parents, yeah, and yeah, then yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. came to me, got on one knee, music was playing. So you basically tricked me. Exactly. <laughs> These songbirds live with their parents. Dahlia juggles two jobs while Damien is studying to be a police officer. We can't plan our wedding. We're extremely busy. We have jobs, I teach, I work at the hospital. Plus our musical lives. We're so engaged with our music um, that it's just way too much. We have no time. Damien and Dahlia are desperate and won't be tying the knot anytime soon unless wedding planner pro Gina Sole steps in. I can make their wedding happen, but they have to agree to my terms. I can help plan your wedding. Okay. But there is one condition. You have to hand over full control of your wedding, and I mean everything. The venue, the decor, the wedding dress, to one of your mothers. <laughs> no, that is not going to happen. I don't think you know our mothers. Hold up a second, hold <laughs> on a second. What's the upside of this? You'll get married. You guys haven't tied the knot yet. No, no time at all. Well, I can make your wedding happen. <sighs> it could be the wedding of your dreams. The only hitch is you won't have control over the actual day. Mm. And so all the control can go either to his mom or my mom? Correct, and you will decide. One mom or the other. Handing over full control? I just don't see that Maybe. happening. Maybe. I need your answer now. <sighs> I say yes. OK. Uh, we don't do this. We're definitely never going to get married, so. I think we'll do it. Great. Let's get you married. I love this woman. <laughs> you love this woman? You, you know what I mean, Daniel. It's not like that. I don't think they realize what they're in for. One of their moms will plan their wedding. The hardest thing is that we're going to have to find a consensus. I really don't know how we're going to decide. I really want to see my mother win. Bring on the moms. Dahlia's mom, Sandra, is a big-time diva who likes spending money on the finer things in life. Oh, maybe this one. Mm. And that includes herself. I love to look good all the time. My hair has to look good, my makeup has to look good, my nails have to look good all the time. Mm. What about something patent leather? Yeah, like this something? one? Now you're talking, girl. My mom is the best. She loves to shop. I, that's an understatement. Ooh. I'm very extravagant. I love fancy stuff. My house is my palace. If I really love it, I will go out and get it. Good. My mom, she is a diva. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, I'm all right, and you're wrong. 
Don't come into my face. Don't mess with me. Damien's mom, Christine, is a hardworking traditionalist who's all about maintaining her Jamaican roots with her family. I've been married for 21 years. Been okay. <laughs> I work as a cleaner. I like providing for my children. <laughs> Here is some rice and peas. My mom makes it a priority that everybody is fed. Mm. She's one of the best cooks. Christine has some control issues with her son. Can you go to the store for me later? Whenever she says, I need you, he's gone. Really, no. I love you. He's like Christine's second husband. It's true. <laughs> These moms have nothing at all in common. Christy is blah, I am it. <laughs> We're different. I care about my family. She cares only about herself. Christine is cheap. I am expensive. One year, I had a surprise birthday party for her daughter. And she went and she purchased a cake for $100. That's just a waste. Christine loves to cook. And Dahlia's always there and talking about her dishes. I don't like that. And it turns out their ideas for the wedding are not jiving at all. It has to be an elegant affair, something sophisticated. <laughs> I do not want this wedding to be an expensive wedding. The decor for the wedding is going to be very glamorous. Expensive china, crystal, of course. Uh, backyard, Jamaican, barbecue. <laughs> I would like to see balloons. Oh, that's crap. I don't want to see that at my daughter's wedding. If it's going to be a fairy tale wedding, it has to be in a castle. Oh, my God. The food is going to be fine dining, five course. <laughs> Definitely no Caribbean food. Curry goats. Oh, dear. Ooh. One thing's for certain. Damien knows which vision he wants to see. I definitely want my mother to win. It's just going to be off the chain with the way she's going to plan everything, so definitely. <laughs> with so many ideas and so much at stake, it's time for Gina to lay down some rules. Moms, you each have 48 hours to put together your plan for the ideal wedding. Only one mom's vision will be chosen. Mm -hmm. This part is key. The losing mom has to be the winning mom's assistant. It's going to be the wedding of the century. Christine cannot win this. You're going to be my assistant. <gasps> no oh, way. Yeah? I'm the best mom. <laughs> no. Number one, has ah. found in everything. I know I'm going to win. My son won't let me down because he loved me so much. OK, may the best mom win. We have a massive divide right now. And if we don't bridge the gap, we could have a total wedding nightmare. Sandra, I'm going to take your fancy wedding vision and sweep it out of sight. There ain't no way you win in this challenge, girl. I'm winning this challenge. Each mom has just 48 hours to find items that explain her wedding vision. I'm here to buy a giant pot. Okay. Where can I find the pot? Right at the back here. Oh, 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 oh. If Christine plans this wedding, it's going to be cheap. So we're going to get low budget everything. Looks good. It's going to be awful. Wow. Oh, look at this. My fear with her mom planning the wedding is it's going to be like a great huge expense. Yeah. Oh my God. Ooh la la. It's going to be like a billion dollars and we're never going to have him enough money to do anything else. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, this is it. Gina will present the mom's visions to the couple. And in this war, there's no place for second best. My mom's definitely going to win this. We will see what happens. Your mom can never win. My mom win. is a champion. No. Champion. With tensions running high and time running out, the moms pull out all the stops in pulling their visions together. This stuff looks amazing. What is your vision? A Jamaican backyard barbecue wedding. A Jamaican backyard barbecue wedding. Oh, yes. OK. Show me what you have. A little decor. Cheaper to use balloons. I love balloons. <laughs> <laughs> I want the most glamorous fairy tale wedding for my daughter. OK, walk me through it. There definitely has to be crystal at the table. OK. Nothing less. 
I have lanterns. I would love to see candelabras on every table. Dots and other games is much cheaper for my son. Crystal orphan carriage on top of the cake. Pretty heavy cake top. Oh, <laughs> the finest for my daughter. My flowers, they're cheaper. OK. Exotic, expensive flowers. And these colors are perfect. How do you feel about wigs, Gina? <laughs> I love wigs. Dahlia would look great wearing something oh, like I that. Oh, I think she looked perfect. <laughs> she has to look like a princess. I think we should top it with some sort of tiara, some oh, sort of headpiece. Definitely. What do you see the bride wearing? You don't want to be overdressed. Do you think the bride and groom would be OK with not really dressing up that much at their own wedding? They're not a dressy, dressy people. OK. I would love this wedding to happen in a beautiful castle. I have to find you a castle. So I'm going to do all the cooking at the wedding. The jerk chicken will go nice with rice and peas. Jamaica land we love. Italian fine dining. Five course meal. OK. Fusciato, fucita, mozzarella. Would you be able to cook for everyone? It's cheaper okay. and I'm a good cook. OK, enough said. I think you did a fantastic job. We will present this to the children and see which one they pick. This is a classic case of each mom fighting for their own. One mom's vision is extravagant, almost to the point of impossible, and the other mom's vision is maybe just too down home and simple. My son loved me so much, I know he won't let me down. There's no way that my daughter's gonna settle for a cheap, cheap, penny-pinching wedding. Gina will now unveil the wedding visions to the couple. One mom will win, the other will be the assistant. Hi, guys. Come Hi. on in, please. And little do they know that their mothers are in a nearby room watching everything. Dahlia, Damien, these presentations represent the most important day of your life. You have to decide which one best represents you. But remember, you'll also be choosing a mother. OK. Are you ready to see what your wedding could be? Yeah. Yeah, we're yeah, ready. I'm ready. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at that. That's amazing. Look at the candelabras and the flowers. Sandra envisions a glamorous fairy tale wedding. The wedding will take place in a castle. I love that. I love that, Dee. How are you going to afford a castle? Listen. When it comes oh to my, my daughter, God. money is not an issue. Lots of crystals, lots of bling. Perfect. Sandra envisions a horse and carriage at the wedding. Wow. Um... <laughs> OK. Oh, no. We're going to have a night battle to represent the chivalry of the groom. So cool. <sighs> Oh my gosh. The meal will be a sit-down dinner on fine china. Mm -hmm. You will have Italian food served at the wedding. You can't even call yourself Jamaican after putting on a wedding like this. We'll do a full ball gown, mm -hmm. a cathedral veil. I wouldn't ask for anything else. I mean, it looks great, but this looks like over $100,000. Are you ready for presentation number two? I'm ready. OK. What the? Yes, this is exactly what I'm talking about now. This is beautiful. Christine envisions a backyard Jamaican barbecue. Backyard barbecue? <laughs> Gotta be kidding me. Give it a chance. <sighs> the colors of the wedding will represent the Jamaican flag. Black, green, yellow. Lots of balloons. Oh my gosh. Damien, you and your friends would be playing the music for the wedding. You could serenade your bride. That would be beautiful. Yeah, it would. Christine will be doing the cooking. Jerk chicken, rice and peas, Jamaican rum cake. Like I love it, Gina. No. I love it. Since this is a backyard wedding, you would have games. <sighs> Darts, coin toss, potato sack races. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Games in a backyard? It's what am I, am I going to dress up like a clown? Is my dress a clown outfit? Your dress is really beautiful. It's delicate, lace, a little cap sleeve. I hate lace. I'd rather come in clown boots. Thanks. Good girl. The only thing that I love is Christine's cooking, because I love Christine's cooking, and I get that. But the colors, I don't know. 
you have to take some time to really think about the choice you're going to make. I'll be back in a few minutes to get your decision. Okay. All right. Sandra and Christine are cut off as Damien and Dahlia decide which wedding they want. Come on, culture, food. Uh, I want people to come to our wedding and be like, wow. <sighs> Look at the crystals. No, it's not happening. I can't afford this. This is a royal wedding. Well, forget about the cost right now, Dee. Forget like, about the cost? It's about what Are you a magician better. to bring up money? You're ridiculous. No, Listen is, to me. Listen to a, me. No, 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 no. no. With tempers flared, Damien and Dahlia have a much-needed heart-to-heart to get them back on track. Now, they'll have to choose one mom over the other, no matter how difficult. Have you decided? We've made a decision. We've this. Oh. Wait, don't tell me. Tell your moms. You're kidding. Uh, uh. Your moms have been backstage this entire time listening to all of your comments. Oh my gosh. Tell your moms who you've chosen. Well, it was a, a hard decision. Um, we really had to think about it. But Dee and I, we've decided to go with... Oh. We've decided that we were going to take the fairy tale wedding. <laughs> I can't Woo! believe you let me down. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. I cannot Mom, believe it. I'm oh, so I disappointed it, in you. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, <laughs> I'm thrilled. My daughter is going to finally get her dream. Her dream is going to come true. Oh, oh. Girl. Ooh. I am so excited. Ooh. I'm so sorry for you. Mom, I know and I understand. Oh, yeah, right. Mom. Please. I don't want to hear nothing. My son rejected me, and he has let me down big time. I fought for my mom, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm not marrying my mother. I got to keep my woman happy. Christine, mm -hmm. you're going to be Sandra's assistant. You're going to help her create her vision. This is funny. Hi. Let's do it. Christine is totally bummed, so worried about the bride and groom and their finances. I don't want to be your assistant. But don't count Christine out. I think that she is a really tough cookie. With time running out, Sandra has to find a dress for Dahlia that's memorable for all of the right reasons. Dahlia has no control here. And whatever dress Sandra picks, be it the most expensive, the gaudiest, that is what Dahlia will wear. Christine. Christine, Christine, go find me some fancy dresses. Being an assistant is awful. <laughs> no, 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 Christine. That's a nice work. dress. Take it away. Here's another dress. I like it. No. It's on sale. Why don't we try this one on her? Oh, no. I don't like it. No, 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 no. That's not cutting it. That's not going to work. No. That's not a wow dress. The dresses that Christine is choosing, they're too blah, and they're just so cheap. Bring me glamorous dresses. Yeah. These are the two most fanciest dresses in the store. Oh, Expensive. Is it? Oh, I love this one. Ah, let's get Daly in this one right away. Yeah. Oh, yeah. OK. Christine blindfolds Dahlia, and for better or worse, she won't catch a glimpse of her wedding dress until the big day. It's fitted, which I like. I feel embroidery on it. Not being able to see, it just sucks because I don't know what is going to be chosen. Ah, my goodness. Woo. This is it. This is the dress. Oh, my God, you just wait until Damien see you in this. Girl, you look like a princess. Oh, I my do. God. Yes, honey. Oh, girl, it's beautiful on you. Oh, baby, you look so gorgeous. It's too expensive. It's really fussy. Mm. And it's expensive. This is the dress. 
Never mind what she says. This is the dress. You're and I trust gorgeous. I trust you, Mom. Mm. It's too fussy. It's expensive. I think you need to stop complaining, Christine. I trust that my mom has the idea. You trust your mom because it's your mom. I know, but she has the same idea as me. I wanted something that will make me look like a princess. Look like a princess, huh? I don't see you looking like a princess. If it was simpler. Are you serious? It, it would be nice. I don't think you have great taste, Christine. Right, Mom? Yes, we We'll darling. all see. Christine, haven't you gotten it? It's never too expensive for my daughter. I trust my mom in this decision. Trust me, Dahlia? Yes. Okay. This is the dress for you. This is beautiful. Mm. Mm. Look at it, beautiful girl. <laughs> Dahlia's dress is very fussy. It looks good, but it's fussy. I'm nervous because I cannot see the dress. It kind of has me on edge. I've been around her long enough to know that she likes glamorous stuff, and I think she's going to love that dress. If she doesn't like it, I think I'll blame Christine for that. Next on Sandra's Vision List, the live entertainment. Come on, Christine. Tell them to start. Christine has brought in performers to audition for Sandra's extravagant castle wedding. Mm. Christine, Christine, just tell the fellow to smile a little bit more, OK? Sandra would like you to smile a little bit more. OK, Christine, send the jesters in. And no court is complete without jesters. I think Sandra should be happy with the people that I find for the entertainment. They're cheap. <laughs> They're not the best, but... They're okay. I gave Christine one responsibility. She was supposed to find some good entertainment for the wedding. And what she brought? Garbage. They're jesters, Christine. They're supposed to be crazy and funny. At this point, I done what Sandra asked me to do, but I don't really care what she thinks. More action, action! She want more action. Okay. Oh, Christine. You're, you're such a useless, useless assistant. Come on, go sit over there. OK, I want to see more action, and I want you to be funnier, OK? All right, let's have it. If you guys want a job at my wedding, you better be good. OK, OK, fine, fine, fine. It's done. Get off this stage. Let's have your night. They were all so terrible. This is her son's wedding, and you would think that she would step up to the plate. This is what you got? But they're good people. I, I don't see yeah, anything wrong with them. Yeah, you must have found the them. cheapest people in town. They're, they're, she just don't want to accept nothing that I do. Off you she go. didn't like any of go. the people that I find because she think that she's in control, even though she tell me to find them. She's just trying to let me feel bad. You're cheap. I'm not cheap. Oh, you I'm are. I'm not cheap. You are cheap. I said I'm not cheap. Yes, you and are. And I'm not going to let you ruin my son life Get like some that. class. Oh, please. You know what is class? Oh, yes, I do. No, you don't. You don't. I know class. Those people that come that and entertain, they're was... very good. I don't see nothing Christine. wrong with them. Next on the agenda, the venue. One that's fit for a princess. Oh, my God, Dahlia's going to love this. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh. Wow. Goodness. As Sandra takes in the grand scenery, Christine can't help but wonder about the grand price tag. Oh my God. I can't believe she find a real castle. There's no such thing as a Jamaican castle. It's way too much to fit our budget. Christine, where have you been? You're late. 
Come on, it's so beautiful inside. Come no, on. No, 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 no. I don't want to come in there. Come no, on, let's go no, in. No, this is too expensive. Christine, come on. It's don't worry about the money. It is it is so nice. You you're, you're no, going to no, love no, it. No, no. Come on, let's get inside. Come no, on, girl. No, no. Come on. It's way too expensive. Come on, girl. Look at this place. Isn't this the perfect place for a ceremony? Isn't this beautiful? No, my son does not want this. Oh, come on, liven up, girl. It's gonna be wow. Yes, but it's expensive. This woman is like a broken record. Too expensive, too expensive, too expensive. It's way too expensive, and it does not represent nothing of our culture. I have never met a more useless woman. Culture, culture, culture. No, no. no Listen, no. wait until you oh, see no, the garden. I'm not with Christine! It. Come on, girl. You go. I don't have a I'm lot of time to waste. I feel powerless right now. Sanjad want everything to be her way, and I hate it. You stay there with your penny pinching. Oh yeah. No right. money attitude. Penny pinching. You are gonna see how much it's gonna cost you. <laughs> I bet it costs a thousand dollar to turn on this fountain. I'm done with her. She can do whatever she wants to. If I have to plan the wedding all by myself, I will. Gina stops by the local bar to visit Damien and Dahlia, who are rehearsing for an upcoming gig. So many situations, so many stipulations. I'm here to check in on the couple. So much money has been spent on this wedding so far. I want to make sure they're not freaking out. It's nice to see you're doing something other than worrying about your wedding. Uh, I know. This is well, just like a, a stress reliever. Great. Yeah. Great. So how are you feeling? To be completely honest with you, I'm just scared. We can't see anything that our mothers have chosen. My concern is with the expenses right okay. now. You know, the vision that you picked is definitely a more expensive vision, and that comes with a price tag. So yes, we really need to watch the budget at this point, mm -hmm. but we're progressing, despite what you're thinking <sighs> and hearing. I want to trust you, but I want to be able to trust you to know that Sandra will not go above and beyond with the expenses of this wedding. I would love to buy a house after the wedding. I hope the budget's being taken care of. I will make sure that I keep on Sandra. I promise you. Gina, please take care of my mom. You know I love her. I promise you, Christine is well taken care of. I guess we're going to have to trust you, Gina. I will trust you. I do not want to go bankrupt at the end of the day. OK. <laughs> All right. I still want a nice wedding. <laughs> This is, mm -hmm. she is her mother's daughter. You know that, right? Unfortunately. OK. <laughs> I think I found a way to bring the moms back together to cut the budget and also to showcase Christine's great cooking. What do you have here, Christine? I'm making um, oxtail, mm -hmm. curry gold, rice and peas, and jerk chicken. It smells delicious. Oh, yes. So this is what you want to sell to Sandra for the yes. wedding? Yes. OK. Let's see if we could kind of put together a really nice presentation. Yes. And we'll have her taste the food. She will love my cooking. <laughs> Christine really wants to cook for this wedding. And I think with everybody concerned with the budget, this is a way to really get that budget down, cutting the catering cost in half. I am so nervous because I know Sandra, she didn't want my food at the wedding. I think she's going to say, oh, no. Gina has asked me to come to Christine's house today. But honestly, it's the last place I want to be right now. Hey, Sandra. Thank why, you for coming. Why am I here? Please, just have a seat. Oh. All right? Mm-hmm. Um, come with me. Sandra, the main problem with this wedding right now is all about finance. Mm -hmm. Christine is willing to cook a classic Jamaican upscale barbecue fit for a castle. We would present it as a station at the wedding for guests. Mm -hmm. Christine's made some food, right? Yes. Let's see what else we can get. Oh, dear. And we have oxtail. Oh, my god. And jerk chicken. And try mm -hmm. the curry goat. Mm. This is the first time Sandra tastes Christine's mm -hmm. cooking. Mm. Mm -hmm. What about the oxtail? Would you like to try? Your daughter told me you love oxtail. 
Yeah, I do. Okay, Not at a wedding, though. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's good. And it wouldn't Very be good. presented like this. It would be presented formally at the wedding. It would fit the castle ambiance. Mm-hmm. And it would slash your cost in half. Well, if it's presented in a classy way, it's worth worth a try. Yeah, thank mm -hmm. you. No Jamaican flags. We won't push it. Okay. No, no. <laughs> Our curry goat tasted good. The oxtail was just superb. And the jerk chicken was so fine. Mmm. Good cooking, girl. You oh, really thank are. Thank you. I'm very happy because Sanjo decided to have my cooking at the wedding. Oh, I can't wait. I just saw a different glow about Christine. And the fact that Sandra loved the food is a win-win. This is good oxtail, girl. Yeah. Mm. Makes me very jealous, honestly. OK. <laughs> I'm optimistic that the moms are now getting along. I'm not so optimistic about the fact that we're pulling off a major theatrical event in now less than two days. So we have lots and lots of work to do. While Christine prepares her Jamaican menu for over 200 guests, Gina and Sandra walk through the venue for the wedding rehearsal. This is where I want the ceremony to be, Gina. Oh. 240 people, though. I mean, the room is grand, but the space here. I do weddings here all the time. I have never seen a ceremony done in here, let alone for 240 people. You have to make it work. This is where I want the ceremony. This is beautiful, but there are so many other ways that we could use this for the wedding. We could do food stations in here. We could do the wedding out in the garden. This is going to be very tight. But it can happen. Gina, you, know. you have to make it work for <laughs> us. Just from a practical standpoint, I don't see it working, but I'm going to do my best to help. Now, what's going on with the vendors? Do we have entertainers? For now, we only have a ballet dancer, okay. but I need more entertainment. I need nights, I need uh, some more dancers. Okay, if you have the entertainers, mm -hmm. we were also talking about a horse and carriage. We can't do both. You've already exceeded your budget, so if you want these entertainers, nights, ballet dancers, how could you have the horse and carriage too? I'm willing to go over the budget. I'll, I'll pay for my pocket. Just the entertainers? Why don't you take care of just the entertainers and let me see what I could do with the horse and carriage? OK, Gina, please, please, for my princess, OK? Thank you. Now we have to make this room bigger. 240 people? Although the space is in question, Gina wastes little time in getting the rehearsal underway. We're going to go straight down to the fountain and then right off to the sides, just a diagonal a little bit. Perfect. My bridesmaids, straight down and I'll tell you when to go tomorrow. OK, are you ready? Good job. So handsome. Good job, girls. I think it looks good. It's not crowded, after all. We don't have any wedding guests here yet. <laughs> this is oh, just Gina. the bridal party. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> Gina, it's going to work. Trust me, it, oh. it's going to work. The fact that she now picked a ceremony site that isn't big enough for her guest count is just another problem added on. She still needs entertainers. She has one ballet dancer, no knights, no horse and carriage, and doesn't have a budget for any of it. So we have a lot to do. This is where you'll be standing tomorrow, OK? All right, guys, great job. Let's get married. The festive mood continues over at the wedding rehearsal. But not everyone is able to let loose. Sandra worries over her long and costly list of things that need to get done. And Christine arrives burnt out after spending the whole day cooking. Can we have everybody's attention, please? I just want to thank everybody for coming to our rehearsal. And we appreciate you as we're about to take this next step. Um, I want to thank the mothers, my mom. She's taught me so much of how to love, how to care. Oh. <laughs> um, and every night that I see you going out and work, <sighs> you are an inspiration to me. And mom, <laughs> love you too. I love you. <laughs> Give it up for our moms. We 
are still stressed. I have no idea what we're walking into tomorrow, but I just pray that it's a fairy tale wedding that I've always dreamed of. It's very, very important that tomorrow goes well because uh, my son means a lot to me. I know Christine has been busy with her cooking, but I want her to step up and be there to help me with this wedding. After a two-year courtship, it's finally Damien and Dahlia's wedding day. Sandra makes a special delivery to her anxious daughter, but this isn't the only surprise waiting for her. The dress that Dahlia tried on at the other store, I liked it, but there was something missing. I went out and I found the most beautiful, glamorous dress for her. Don't look, don't look. Mom, this, what, this, darling? this dress doesn't feel the same. Mom, oh, just... you know, Mommy always choose the best for you, darling. OK, after three, one, two, three. Mom, look at this. This dress is amazing. Oh, I knew you would love it. Oh, Isn't it beautiful? Oh. Christine, eat your heart out. Woo! This is perfect. I'm going to cry. It's all right if you cry. I love my dress. It is amazing. It's everything that I ever wanted. It just screams money. It doesn't matter to me what the dress costs. Nobody needs to be concerned about the cost, Beautiful. she looks absolutely gorgeous. Love it. That's the most important thing. Four hours until the wedding, there's trouble at the castle, and Gina's speechless. I have never experienced anything like this. Ridiculous. We were told the balance check didn't clear. It needed to be paid before they could allow us to come in and set up. The doors were literally locked when we came up. What's happening? Why aren't you guys inside decorating? Sandra, we were just told that your check bounced. <gasps> They're not going to let us in. I need you to call someone. I need a check. I need a credit card. We have four hours. We're ready to go. As soon as we bring all of this in, we could start set up. It's just, it's not what we were prepared for. Give me a few okay? minutes, OK? God. It's an extremely stressful situation already. And this has just magnified it 100 times. Jesus, this can't be happening, oh my God. She's freaking out. I would be freaking out too. Christine is the last person on this planet that I wanted to call and let her know about the situation, but I had no choice. They won't let us in. My check bounced, girl. You should have listened to me. I need a loan of $5,000. I'm gonna pay you back, all right? Uh, can you? I'm going to do it, but only because it's my son. Okay. Christine comes through with the money, and the castle opens for business with no time to spare. And let's put these flowers on each of these pillars here. You think everybody's going to fit? I said that I would make it work. We have half chairs, and then okay. we have standing room in the back. We have to go into the room and set up the reception. This is a time when you need a wedding planner. This is a stressful situation. We already had no time, and now we have next to no time to set up this entire wedding. Ugh. We need to move twice as fast. So many tables. I am very scared. Very, very scared. As Gina scrambles to finish setting up, the wedding party arrives. Christine hustles to get her Jamaican food station set up. OK. All 240 guests filter in and get cozy in this tight, hot room. Ready or not, this fairy tale wedding is about to get started. And to Gina's relief, one thing has finally gone right today. Dahlia's on schedule in her horse and carriage. Gina came through with the horse and carriage. She knows how to work magic. My daughter looked exceptional. She looked like a princess. Oh my God, my heart was just bracing. Okay, straight ahead. Hey, Gina, you got the horse and carriage. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Dahlia hurries to take her place. This wedding is a go. Here's our anxious groom, Damien, and our hardworking moms.
As promised, Sandra's ballerina takes the stage and entertains before Dahlia meets Damien at the altar. And finally, Dahlia makes her royal entrance. Dearly beloved and dear family, friends, and loved ones, we are here invited to join in the union today of Delia and Damien. I, Damien. I, Damien. Take you, Delia. Take you, Delia. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. For rich, for poor. For rich or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Delia, with this ring, I take you as my one and only true love. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Amen. Amen. Kiss your breath. We've had bounce checks, the ceremony, the reception. We set it up in record time. I feel like I've lived three days in one day. The ceremony was a risk. You couldn't fit 240 chairs in the conservatory. So we had some guests standing, some guests sitting. It worked out. It feels great to be married. I get a second ring. I'm excited about that. Um, and just the thought of spending the rest of my life with him just makes me like so excited. You're such a wonderful guy, I love you. I love you too, you're a beautiful woman. When I saw her coming down the aisle, I was speechless. I was nervous. You know, I didn't know what to suspect, but she was just so beautiful. I always wanted to do that. This vision that my mom created for us is perfect. It's romantic, it's elegant. The venue is just spectacular. Oh, I'm a visionary. What can I say? <laughs> the lovely flowers, the candelabra, the decor is absolutely gorgeous. I went out and I found nights. I found the best performers, the contemporary dancers. They were so amazing. Lots of money, money, money. That's all right. That's OK. It's worth it. Don't you see how happy the kids were? Yes, they yeah, were Yeah, and that's, that's the most but important the money, thing. Money, 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 money. It was for them. Christine, come it on. It was nice. My cooking is so good. And everyone is inside yeah. eating, enjoying okay. themselves, having a good time. But the budget, a... not so much of an issue. It doesn't matter right now. It matters that we're both together. We love each other on this beautiful day. <laughs> We have two beautiful mothers, um, and they've done so much. You guys are beyond incredible. Ballet dancers, knights, uh, probably broke the bank a bit, but a fairy tale, wedding in a castle. It's a great memory. <laughs> Our moms, two different worlds totally came together. They're in there, they're dancing, they're having a great time. I hope they live happily ever after. I think Christine is going to make my daughter a very wonderful uh, mother-in-law. Our relationship is very good, and we know that it's going to get better. That's a very nice dress, Christine. You look like a princess. I am a princess. Of course. <laughs> Jamaican princess. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Imagine having no control over the biggest day of your life, your wedding day. We'll never get married. Or worse, that all control has been given to your mother. She's a total control freak. Or even more outrageous, your mother-in-law. The last thing I want to do is to tear our family apart. I've had enough, Pastor. No more. This is Gina Sole, wedding planner extraordinaire. I love it. I love it. She creates stunning weddings for her clients. I need 500 by Friday. Her standards are high, and she demands and gets the best for her client's big day. AC and Justin, they're going to have to deal with Gina's little twist.
You have to hand over control to one of your mothers. I don't think so. God takes fourth place in my life. I practice karate, yoga, and meditation to help keep me centered. Will this be the wedding of their dreams or a total nightmare? There's no other way. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not wearing this. I said wearing this veil. I'm not wearing this veil. This veil. May the best mom win. You don't Just care. Keep I know quiet. you don't care. I'm Casey, 23, and 30-year-old Justin have been sweetly in sync for four years. I love Isi's, her, her heart. I just love her heart. She is just, she's an amazing person. If she sees a need somewhere, she's gonna meet it. I think she might be the best piano player in the world. It's mad skills. I love that he's sarcastic and he loves to make a lot of jokes. I also love that he has this kind of tough guy exterior to him, but inside he's really soft and sweet. Don't say that on <laughs> camera. <laughs> God is an extremely present third party to this couple. My relationship with God means a lot to me. It just means that every day I pray, I read my Bible. Church is the most important thing to me, apart from AC, is where we met. I met her 10 years ago. Watch it, remember your contra, no touchy touchy. AC's mom, Poulette, is also a part of their relationship. The virginity contract was something to keep you accountable. We wanted to put our physical relationship on the back burner so that we could focus more on communication. So like, we're virgins? <laughs> no, you're a virgin, so <laughs> don't say we're virgins because everybody will know I'm lying. <laughs> Justin and my mom are definitely in charge of this relationship. I live at my mom's house. And I bought the house next door. And we're not allowed to be at Justin's house by ourselves. I'm not very happy about it, but that's what my mom and Justin decided. My mom actually asked us not to kiss until we get married. And if Justin ever decided that he wanted to kiss me, he would have to go to my mom for permission. There's only like three things we're allowed to do. And one of those, for example, is holding hands and uh, side hugs. He won't even hug me from the front. He hugs me from the side. <laughs> well, you, it, the way it works is, you know, if we hug from the front, there's there's possibilities of things, you know, you know, emotion. He never wants to do anything with me. We're gonna have our first real kiss on our wedding day, finally. <laughs> I hope it's long and passionate, and I don't care who's there. Though the promise of passion isn't enough to join these two in holy matrimony. There's definitely no way we can plan this wedding by ourselves. I mean, there's, there's, there's a lot of different issues we don't agree on, you know? Every time we try to plan, we start fighting. Help. <laughs> I'm here to meet AC and Justin. I can make their wedding happen, but they have to agree to my terms. AC and Justin, I hear you're engaged, but you haven't been able to plan your wedding. That's true. Every time we start planning, we start fighting all the a lot. time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's impossible. Well, I can make your wedding happen. The only condition is that you have to hand over control to one of your mothers. And I mean everything. You can't pick your dress. You can't pick the venue. You can't pick the decor. I don't think so. I don't know if I'm into that. The only way is if AC's mom plans a wedding. Absolutely not. She's a total control freak. My mom has controlled my life to this point, and she's not controlling it anymore. Your mom will do a good job planning this wedding. I prefer your mom to do it. I prefer your mom to do it. AC and Justin, are you prepared to do this? Justin, if we don't do this, we'll never get married, and I can't live in my mom's house forever. I need your answer now. Can you do this? All right, let's do it. We'll do it. OK, let's get you married. All right. OK. <laughs> All right, hug. Uh, we Maybe can't do that. Side hug. Side hug. Yeah. Side hug? Yeah. Side hugging. I have never side hugged. They're really waiting for their wedding to uh, be affectionate with each other. If we don't take Gina's help, we'll never be able to get married. This should be interesting. Very interesting. That brings us to the moms. Poulette is a no-nonsense pastor with an uncommon pastime. Ah! Oh! I, I'm very, very good in ping pong. I, I don't want to be too bossy. Ah! 
That's what you get. But I can challenge anyone. Ah! Well, stop all in the ball, man. Play the ball. It's ping pong. God wants us to have social life. Jesus had a social life. Yeah! It's very important for us to have a, a relationship with God. Us to know. God takes first place in my life in whatever I do. Before I found the Lord, I was, I, was a, I was a tough kid. I would say the moment my life shifted was when I met AC's mom. She told me to come to church. By that point, I knew I needed to be there. Pastor Paulette is the head of the church and I'm second in command. When she retires, I'll take over the church. I would describe my mom as very strict, old fashioned. I have plastic on my furniture because it's a very traditional way of protecting your cheers. I would say AC's mom has the power of the Holy Spirit. Stand before God's judgment throne. My views is not from my own. I follow what God requires of my life. Justin's mom, Kathy, is a free spirit who feels more of a connection to nature than with the Holy Ghost. I'm from the East Coast, so I love the water, I love nature, I love the beauty of just having the outdoors all, all there. My mom's great. She's down to earth. She's simple. She's, she's, she's from down east, you know? Kathy and I are really close. We're always on the same page. To the other side. I'm a big lover of music. As long as I have the music on, I'm willing to do housework. I'm willing to do anything. It's a blues. Woo! I wouldn't go to church, but I go to church to be connected with my son. What does that say to you? What does that say for me? That my mom doesn't think that, you know, kissing before marriage is really an issue. I want Justin and AC to be free. I want them to show their love and let them be themselves. Kathy's feelings for free love and kissing has landed her matrimonial bliss. Gary and I have been married for 30 years and we are still in love. And this easygoing lover is also a fighter. I practice karate and meditation to help keep me centered. These moms have nothing in common. Kathy and myself, we have different views. Paulette is very opinionated and controlling. Our belief in God is different. Um, I'm carefree and Paulette is really rigid. Well, I'm not open to be persuaded by no one. She is very dominant. It's my way or the highway. My fear is that Paulette is in control of their life. Deeply opposing ideas for the big day prove to be challenging. The only thing I care about in my wedding is that I have a strapless dress. And the only thing I care about this wedding is that she doesn't have a strapless dress. My vision for Justin and Nacy's wedding is to have a beautiful seaside outdoor wedding. I would like them to have a very traditional, old-fashioned wedding. They would be at a church. Has to definitely be outside by the water, either on a boat or by in a tent, it's a tent by the water. I would like the wedding cake to be um, in pink and white roses. Uh, shouldn't be any pinks, anything traditional. Which signifies Jesus as the lily of the valley. I want AC to feel uh, hot and sexy on her wedding day. Or the wedding dress. A-line. White. Strapless. With long sleeves. Form-fitting. No part of her body should be exposed. Having lots of music, lots of dancing. No rock and roll, no secular music, just religious music. And some drinking. Absolutely no alcohol. The body is the temple of God. With such differing ideas, it's time for Gina to lay down the rules. Moms. You each have 48 hours to put together your plan for the ideal wedding. I will present both of your visions to the couple. Only one mom's vision will be chosen. And this part is key. The losing mom has to be the winning mom's assistant. I am not going to be the assistant. I will be the number one. I have much more fashion sense. I have what it takes to win. I think you're too old fashioned to be planning your daughter's wedding. Neither one of them want to be each other's assistant. The groom will have the last say. Biblically, the man is the head, and the groom will decide. Can't we all just get along? May the best mom win. I'm not afraid of God, I'm not afraid of Paulette, and I know I'm going to win this challenge. This wedding is going to happen my way, whether I win or lose. The last thing I want to do is to tear our family apart. 
I think AC and Justin are worried. Now that they actually sat down with the moms, I could see fear in their eyes. I do get the sense that this is even more than a wedding to AC, that this is almost her coming out party. Coming up with an inspired wedding vision in just 48 hours is going to be the ultimate test for these moms. And whatever vision the bride and groom choose, they're going to have to live with it for the rest of their lives. I think my mom would do an okay job of planning it, but I think it'll be a little bit more simple than, than I think we're probably both looking for. I'm gonna take one order of halibut, and I'm gonna take one order of scallops. One order of uh, fish and chips, and one order of scallops, please. Oh, this is my favorite uh, fish takeout restaurant. I'm buying halibut and scallops so I can show Gina that I want seafood for the wedding. If my mom planned this wedding, I would end up wearing a dress that I hated. I'm looking for an old-fashioned long veil. The veil signifies the purity of the virginity of the bride. Look, it would just kind of be over the face. I'm very excited. I love the veil that I've chosen. This looks beautiful. Time's run out, and the moms have a date with Gina to showcase their visions. Paulette, what is your vision? My vision is to have an old-fashioned, traditional, religious wedding. An outdoor seaside wedding. I would like my centerpieces to be a salt lamp. Like rocks and... Just full of nature. I would like to have tea and coffee. Absolutely no alcohol. Oh, give us some drinks. Lots my family loved to drink. <laughs> honest. <laughs> Liquor is good. I would like a DJ who is going to play only religious songs. We can't sort of mix it up with some more modern music or contemporary music for the kids later on. I would prefer just sticking to the religious music. We don't want people to be there sinning against God. I want to have every type of music at the wedding, even rock and roll. Her body should not be seen. And what, what fabric would you like for her dress? Lace all over, pure white. I see the bride wearing a strapless um, A-line gown with a corset style lace up uh, at the back. And if you notice her veil, this is the way I would like her veil all over. And this signifies her purity as a virgin. So a cathedral length veil. Correct. Just, this wedding represents romance and love and, and sexuality. And that, that's what I want to see. Just all about them loving each other. Yes. I love seafood, and that's the only food I want to see at the wedding. It's Caribbean food, and it's very spicy. I smell from here. I want to see outdoor lanterns, and I love uh, dragonflies, so I just want these to light up the outdoors. This cross here signifies my church. So you would be marrying the bride and groom? Correct. OK. I was chosen by them. Would you like me to read a passage of scripture to you? Would you like to read something? Sure, I love preaching. I can preach every day. Okay. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. Nice. I couldn't find a cake, Gina, but I would love the cake as a, a waterfall. A waterfall cake? Yes, a, a waterfall cake that just shows that their love is free, running free. <laughs> you want the cake to be in the shape of a waterfall? Yes, yes. I think that would be really different. It would be different. Definitely. And probably a little impossible. You're worried about the waterfall? Do you have any ideas? Uh, I could come up with some. Well, I'm uh, game. I'm okay. game for ideas. OK, but good. I like the idea of a waterfall. This is a nice sample of the fruit cake. I would like to have a, a nice four or five tier layer of cake with nice, beautiful white and pink flowers decorated all around. You could have a nice smell of it. OK. It has nice wine in it, a lot different types of fruits. It does. OK. And a sh did I? Um, it fell down while I was Aww. holding it, so you may see it a bit <laughs> smashed at the side. Oh, boy. All your hard work. <laughs> God works in mysterious ways, wonders to perform, even with fruit cake. <laughs> well put. OK. Um, you know, outdoor, always weathering the elements. Sure, so we should sure. think about that. Bad sure. weather, God forbid. 
Is there room in this vision for the love, for the romance? When you think of romance, you think of Jesus in a garden with Adam and Eve. And they were very romantic. OK. We'll edit it down. We'll present it to the kids. Great. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Gina. God bless you. Thank you. I'm the best and will always be the best. My vision is going to win because I planned it from my heart. With these two visions, I don't know how we would ever have a happy bride and a happy groom. It's time for the couple to view their mom's visions. Problem is, AC has just had minor eye surgery and cannot see. She will have to rely entirely on Gina and Justin's descriptions. Oh, no. Hi, What's Gina. Wrong? Sorry. I just had laser eye surgery. Today? For, yeah, for the wedding. AC, I'm going to show you your presentations today. Yes. Are you sure you want to do this? Look, Ace, I'm going to help you through this. I'll describe everything I can to you. Are you sure, Justin? Yeah, it's going to be all right. Don't worry about it. The couple are unaware their moms are backstage, watching and listening. These presentations represent the most important day of your life. You have to decide which one best represents you. But remember, you'll also be choosing a mother. Are you ready for presentation number one? Yes. yes. OK. Just tell me, what does it look like? It's nice, it's nice, it's elegant. Definitely your mom's vision. This is baby call, this is what we want. We got some pink flowers, some... What? White, yeah, some pink flowers, it looks good. Just in its peaks of Jesus being the lily oh, of the valley. Me. Oh. Can we just move on to the next vision, please? No, let me describe it. See, there well, you go, she AC can... knows what oh, she wants. she know when she's blind? Follette's vision is an old-fashioned, traditional wedding. Your wedding would take place in a church, and Pastor Poulette will be officiating the ceremony. Definitely a pink and white color scheme. It really this looks isn't great. Work. Just keep, yeah. OK. Are yeah. you serious? It looks really good. Don't worry about it. AC, I think you would love the cake. At least six tiers. Mostly white, some sugared flowers. I do like the cake. Well, it's a fruit cake. The menu would be Caribbean food. There will be no alcohol at this wedding. I want alcohol. Alcohol? You know what the Bible says. Stick Down to your feet. No. This isn't going to work. I'm sorry. The music is mostly Christian music. <laughs> Come on. Your dress. Very modest. Some lace, possibly a high neck. A high neck? It's it a looks nice. Gown. I like it. I don't like it. OK. You can't see it. I don't like what it sounds like. Gina, I think it's time to move on. All right. No, no, you don't need to look at that. Go for it, AC. No, Justin. Oh, AC, I, you will not like this. What's wrong Definitely. With it? That's garbage you see in there. There's seashells and rocks and lobster. This vision is of an outdoor seaside wedding in nature. Sounds we would, nice. The color scheme? Ruby reds, silvers, ice blues, lots of candles, even some dragonfly lights. Kathy loves dragonflies. Wow, that sounds amazing. The guitar represents different types of music. Mm -hmm. She definitely wants a fun wedding. Okay. She would like fresh seafood at the wedding, margaritas. Margaritas does sound nice. AC needs to have some fun. You've never even tasted margarita, yes, margarita before. AC, your dress, okay. flirty, sexy, probably strapless. I love this. This sounds amazing. This can't be any visual. Just this is a just... piece of garbage. I am not big on the dress. The dress sounds it, awesome. I mean, I don't think you would like it. And the bride usually makes all the decisions, the not the The bride don't man. know anything. Kathy don't know anything. Take some time to really think about the decision you're going to make. I'll be back in a few minutes to get your decision. OK. Poulette and Kathy are cut off from listening in, while Justin and AC have to decide on a vision, even if it can't be seen. Kathy's vision is exactly what I want for my wedding. There's margaritas. I get the dress that I want. It seems fun. There's going to be live music. I feel that. You know what that is? No. That's a lobster. OK, but they're all dead. You would not be happy, AC. Just, just come. Come and look at your mom's vision one more time. I promise you, you would much rather this vision. Justin, I don't want to go with my mom's vision. Honestly, AC, feel the cake. Feel how tall it is. OK. The cake is nice. Take a hold of that. 
So it's a bowl with water in it. And a flower. Justin, this is awful. Come on. I would not steer you wrong. I know what you like. There's no fun. There's no life to it. It just seems dead. Have you decided? Yes. yes. What is your decision? Our decision is... Don't tell me. OK. Tell your moms. What? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Mm. Justin and AC, your moms have been backstage listening to all of your comments. What? <laughs> tell your moms who you've chosen. OK. We've looked at both visions, and we like them both, but I think that uh, we've decided to go with AC's mom's vision. Oh, yes! I don't believe yes! it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is going to be the best wedding ever. She knows Thank how to control you, you anyway, and she always makes you Thank change you. your mind. Thank you. Hallelujah. I'm happy and no, rejoicing. I'm not happy at all. I know. I'm sorry. I couldn't see anything today. You listen to him just like he listens to your mother. Hey, come on. I wouldn't agree with that one, Mom. That's not nice. It's very difficult that my son turned his back on me again. It was difficult for me to tell my mom that no, we don't want to. Downy sweating. Your vision couldn't win. Regardless you of what, I just listen to the pastor I too much. I still love you, and Mom. You, I still and love you. you give her everything she wants. No. I don't feel bad for Kati because I knew that she was going to lose. Thank you for choosing me. Congratulations, Paulette. Thank you very much. It's time. Remember, the couple chose your vision, so it's important that that's what you deliver. And Kathy. You're going to be Paulette's wedding assistant. You'll be helping her create her vision. All right, moms, we've got one week to pull this wedding together. Get to work. Paulette is going to be a horrible boss. She loves to be in control, so I don't think I'll be much of an assistant to her. I have no idea what my wedding is going to look like. She'll be happy in the end that we chose her mom's vision. She will see that this is the perfect vision. I'm worried that on her wedding day, she is going to be disappointed. This sucks. With less than a week till the big day, Poulette takes her assistant to the florist. Oh, I gotta on. get out of here. Let's go. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Fine. You have some beautiful pink and white flowers. Thank you. AC hates pink and white. This is her wedding. Let's add some color into this. You're add not going to have your way. It. The decision is made. I'm getting pink and white flowers. Bring another Keep color, quiet. maybe a yellow. I want all the pink and white flowers to the front. I have my assistant right here, and mm -hmm. she's going to assist you. Just push it a little in line. Thank you. Kati, only pink and white. Those are purple, those are green. Get them out of here. Quickly. Oh, Pastor, do you want to help me here? I'm not going to help you. I didn't know that you didn't know colors. Hmm. OK, Pastor, is this enough? Good job, Cotty. Let's get it out of the car. Okay. Good job. Jeez. I love pink and white flowers because it represents the purity of the bride standing before the altar. I think the pastor has taken this whole virginity thing way too far. Nothing is more important to a bride than choosing her own wedding dress. AC has agreed to give full control over to her mother. Whatever dress Paulette chooses, that's what AC will wear on her wedding day. Oh, good morning, Pastor. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Are you here to pick up the dress that you ordered for your daughter? Yes, and I would like her to try it on right away. Let's get started. Let's go. AC still hasn't regained her vision. Her wedding dress will be revealed, along with everything else, on her wedding day. AC, hurry up with the dress. Oh. You look gorgeous. I couldn't imagine you in anything better than this. Oh, my God. No. It looks like you should have wore that to, for your wedding. I did. Get yeah. her in a beautiful dress. Let the lady do her job. Does it really look that bad? Yes, it does. It looks like it's from the 1800s. It's probably for the best that AC can't see, because if she really seen how bad she looks in that dress, she would not be happy. 
Patty head is just messed up. To just open up shut your up, eyes. Patty. Keep open quiet. Your eyes. I, I don't even it. think my grandmother wore a it's dress gorgeous. like this. I just don't care. I know. She's going to wear it one way or the other. You How do good. you feel, Be Lacey? Proud. It feels horrible. I don't want to wear this dress. It's horrible. It so feels don't you know how you whore. feel? It's horrible. Mommy, I hate this dress. You look good. You don't need any more comment. Crystal, can you get a veil on her right away, the one that we spoke about? OK, let's uh, put the veil on you. This represents the purity of God. No, no, excited. no, Pastor, come on. Give me a break that looks like Godzilla. What the hell are you making me wear, Mom? You will not be in this dress. It's done. It's final. This situation is difficult for me because I want to please my mom, but I also want to be happy on my wedding day. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I know I have to do something. Cutty just have to back right off. I am the winner. The pastor drags her assistant to view the venue and learn the ways of her church. Cutty, this is my church. I need to teach you a few things of being in a church. And women in pastor's church wear dresses. Pastor, I have an outfit on. I don't need an outfit. Cutty, I need you to wear this outfit, OK? Don't resist Come it. Come on, Pastor. I need to teach you how to be in the church, what to wear, how to cover your body. So I just need you to wear this. Whatever. You happy? Yes, you look great. I don't even know what I'm doing in this church. We're supposed to be planning a wedding. Kati, the most important thing when you come into this church is to listen to the word of God. You need a word. You know what? I've had enough, Pastor. No more. Take your thing. I'm out of here. I'm tired of her trying to control me. I'm tired of her trying to make me change my mind. I'm done with Kati. If Kati want to be a part of this wedding, she will have to humble herself and fit in. I am meeting the pastor and Kathy here at this bar. They are not getting along at all, and I need to fix this. Hi, Gino. How are you doing? Hi, how are you? Hi, I wonder what am I doing here? Well, I wanted to get you together and see what's going on. I've never been in a bar in all my life. I understand. Get over it. This is against my conviction. Why I, am I here? I understand. Everything is. I know that you girls have been having a lot of problems. Kathy don't have any proper vision, <laughs> and she's very unruly, <laughs> very disrespectful, and there are times when I have to really pull her in line. Nobody's going to pull me in line, OK? I was going to say what I have to say, and you're going to hear what I have to say. Kati has no say. Kati does not have any choice Pastor, when it comes to this. Just no, one minute. Pastor, Kathy, don't try and control Kathy, just me. keep quiet. Kathy, we really no. don't want to see you like this. You know what? I don't care about this wedding. I think that we should have martinis at the wedding. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Looks like I need a few right about now. I object we have to this. Virgin martinis, or people could opt to have a cocktail without alcohol. Can we both have virgin? No, I'll have things? I'll have a real martini, thanks. Kathy, we will have martinis at the wedding. Thank goodness. It's one small piece of your vision. It will not hurt your vision in any way. It needs it to be done. People want to it go to will. a wedding and they want to have a drink. Could I get two cocktails, one virgin sea breeze, and one with alcohol? You should not be drinking this stuff. I'm going to drink a few of those. Oh, it's looking good. Did I not tell you that your body is the temple of God? Oh, I can hardly wait. Pastor, for you, virgin martini? Thank you. Mm, it's good. I know that you've also had a problem with pastor's church. No. I know that you're not she going to go back by. into that church. She is. No. No, I, I will have not found be in a there. church that is on neutral ground. Pastor, that it's not your good. church. But it's a church. AC will still have a church wedding. I think that that needs to be done. Sounds good to me. Kathy, with these two small things, just a different church, still the same religion, and a little bit of alcohol. Kathy, could we get you back on board? I'm right on board. Come on, let's go. It's two days before the wedding. This wedding is in serious jeopardy. I need you to find your happy place, Pastor. I'll think about it. Thank I'll you, give it some thoughts. Cheers to you, Gina. I'm loving this. Pastor may be in control of this wedding, but I'm going to be having some martinis, and I'm not going to be at her weird old church. It's only two days. The two days left for the wedding. I, I have to try to 
make a compromise. This wedding is in real danger because I can't seem to get these two moms together. I'm here to see Justin and AC. I'm really concerned about AC. She's had a bad week. AC, how's your eyesight? Um, it's doing better. I'm just still sensitive to the light, but... Do you want to take them off? Yeah, I can take them off for a bit. I just wanted to check in, see if you guys were okay. Justin, you're all smiles. I'm all smiles. I'm happy. I believe that Pastor Poulette's vision will come through, and God will be at the center, not only of our marriage, but of our, of our wedding. AC, I'm concerned about you. This is supposed to be a really happy time for you. Could I help with anything? Well, I'm really stressed about my wedding dress. I feel like my wedding day isn't going to have anything that I want. I feel like my mom is going to control the whole thing. You know what, Gina, don't worry about it. We're fine, really. I mean, we're people of prayer. We've been praying this wedding day through for months. So I just believe, and, and I think we believe together, that this is going to be just how we have always wanted it to be. Justin, could you give us a second? OK, sure. Just, just a little girl time. All right. Guess so. <laughs> Thanks. You see, I so feel for you. I'm doing OK, but I'm very stressed. And I just, I really don't know what to believe in anymore. AC, your mom is quite a force. It wouldn't be fine for me either. I mean, your vision and the dress. And mm -hmm. I can be here for you. And I can see what I can do uh, to make sure that the planning is going to your liking. If you need anything, just let me know. I will. Thank you. You'll be all right. You're going to be a beautiful bride, and it's going to be a beautiful wedding. Thanks. Gina brings Poulet to bless her choice of replacement church for her daughter's wedding. This is a place that Kathy would not feel intimidated coming into. Here it is. Gee, I don't think it's the right place for the wedding. It more looked to me like a, like a gym or some recreation hall. This is not what I really want or like, Gino. What don't you like? I don't like it. Any of it? Nothing of it. It's, it's a neutral space. It's still a church, but people won't be intimidated coming in. You know, we want to make sure that Kathy, her family, the groom's side, they're comfortable. But this is not what I like. I like my church, and we can have this at my church. We have so much to do in two days. You're going to be officiating this mass. You're a pastor. You say that God is everywhere. God could be in this church. I think that your daughter would love this space. I think that AC would love this. I think you're messing with me, Gina. I'm Don't try it. No, I'm not. Pastor. I am not a walkover, Gina. I know. I know you're not. It is not what I would like. But you know, fine, this one time I will listen to you. One time you yes. will listen? This one time. I will have the wedding here. I'm doing the ceremony with another pastor, and I'm looking forward to really, really make the bride and the groom happy. We have tons to do. We have to move everything now into this new church, but I think it's necessary. Satisfied with the venue, Poulette and Gina get the rehearsal started while the bride and groom stay home and wait for the big reveal tomorrow. How do you like the church? Oh, I love it. I thank you so much, Gina. I really love this space. Great, great. Come on down. You'll go right here. Do you see who you're in front of, who you're behind? We're good? Good? OK, let's get married. The bride and groom meet their guests at Kathy's house for a pre-wedding barbecue. <laughs> hey guys, can I get your attention? I just want to tell you guys, we love you guys so much and we thank you. We just thank you for supporting us. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. There's still a lot to do and tomorrow can be a disaster or it could be a good day. I'm afraid that my dress is just going to be lacy and long sleeve and I just don't, I don't want to wear that dress. You will make that dress look awesome. It's going to look horrible. I'm loving the new church. I'm loving the martinis. And I have one more trick up my sleeve for tomorrow morning. AC. AC. Yes, mommy? I need you here. I need you to try your dress on. I finally get to see it? Oh, yes. Come, let's go. AC, I want you to keep your eyes closed, OK? I don't feel pretty. I feel like a big bag of fabric. 
Your dress looks beautiful. Okay, AC, open your eyes. Open your eyes and see this dress. Mom, this dress looks horrible. You can't be serious. I can't believe that you don't like I this don't dress. I don't want to wear this dress. Hey, see, this is the veil that you're going to wear throughout the ceremony. Mommy, this veil looks horrible. You're, you're really going to make me wear this yes, on my wedding day? Yes, you're going to wear I'm it. I'm not wearing this. I said that's you veil. are wearing this veil. I'm not wearing this veil, this veil and that's are. it, and I'm done. She has never stood up like that to me before. My mom made a horrible choice. I don't like this dress at all. It looks hideous on me. Everyone trying to get in my way with this wedding, but no one would be able to stop me. Keep your back straight. After the blowout with her mom, AC's at Kathy's house, trying to relax before her wedding. AC, I got this for you. It's a surprise. No one knows it's a wedding dress I think you will love. No pressure at all. I want you to wear whatever dress you want to wear. Thank okay. you. I just want you to be happy. I really hope that AC likes the dress, but at the end of the day, it's all what AC really wants to wear, and I just want her to be happy and look beautiful in whatever dress she wears. Meanwhile, Gina and her assistant prep the venue, turning the space into a pink and white paradise. Kimmy, she wants all this. Just put it all on there. It's a lot of cake. Are these done? And then we'll head out. All right. The countdown has run out and the moment is here. Guests are seated and all that's needed to begin is the bride. An hour and 15 minutes late? Unacceptable. I called AC, she pretty much hung up the phone, hasn't answered since, and I'm assuming she's on her way. Pastor. Where is AC? I just spoke with AC. She's having some issues with her dress. They're fixing it now and then she's on her way, okay? But we're gonna have to start the ceremony a lot later. This is what I was trying to avoid. I know. But they're in a car, they're on their way now. She's keeping Justin waiting. She's keeping everyone in the audience waiting. She's keeping me waiting. Justin. Well, what's going on? I'm just stressed right now. Well, well, I, I'm the one that's stressing. I'm wondering, like, is she going to show up? Justin, she's totally coming. Just right. calm down. She's having an issue with the dress. You know girls. All right. All right. She's coming. Yeah. She's okay. coming. All right. No problem. Pastor is so upset. Justin thinks his bride ran away. He doesn't think she's coming. He doesn't think there's going to be a wedding. It's just craziness right now. Finally, the bride arrives and the wedding can begin. The pastor sees her daughter, but not in the dress she chose. AC's new dress fitting made her late, but now she's ready to be wed. Dear friends and family, we are gathered together with great affection for AC, Emile, and Justin Gary Bash. In the sight of God to witness and to bless their union in holy matrimony, to this sacred moment, they bring the fullness of their hearts as a treasure and a gift from God to share with one another. They bring the dreams which bind them together in an eternal commitment. They bring their gifts and their talents, their unique personalities and spirits, which God will unite together into one being as they build their life together. We rejoice with them in thankfulness to the Lord for creating this union of hearts built on friendship, respect, and love. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, we look to you in thanksgiving for the joy, the beauty, and the sacredness of this hour. We thank you for your love which surrounds all of our days and comes now to focus in the hearts of these, your children, who have presented themselves before you to be united in holy marriage. May your Holy Spirit be in our midst and move in the hearts of AC and Justin, that the allies may indeed be united into one according to your will. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, amen. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Justin, repeat after me. I, Justin. I, Justin. Take you, AC. Take you, AC. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death parts us. Until death parts us. AC. Mm -hmm. I, AC. I, AC. 
Take you, Justin. Take you, Justin. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death parts us. Until death parts us. Thank you for your bountiful blessing. I pronounce you husband and wife, Justin. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Finally married and first kiss under their belt, it's now time for the newlyweds to celebrate with their friends and family. How's everybody doing tonight? Right now, I think both AC and I would like to give a special thank you to our moms. When we first started this journey, we weren't quite sure what we were expecting. But as we stepped into this, we realized it's coming from a heart that is filled with love. And we love you so much for everything that you've, you've done for us. Give them a round of applause. Feels amazing to be married. I'm so happy. I think the ceremony was beautiful. Was I enjoyed every minute of it. I did not like that dress that Kathy chose for my daughter. The issue with this wedding was all about control, and I think that AC putting on a totally different wedding dress, that said a lot. Joss, I don't even know if you know this, but I mean, I was two hours late for the ceremony because I could not choose which dress to wear. When the door first opened up and AC came through that door, it was as though my eyes were opened up to just another, another level of her beauty today. This couple had never kissed before, so we were all just waiting for that moment in the ceremony when they got to kiss for the first time. I kept thinking about the kiss. It was in the back of my mind, the whole ceremony. I'm really excited about tonight, but I am very, very nervous. He, you kiss good, so. <laughs> I'm looking forward to what else you have in store. Oh, gosh. <laughs> the reception totally feels like a celebration. They're just having a great time. My mom did an amazing job with the decor. It looks beautiful. Um, I was worried that it wasn't going to look good, but it actually um, turned out looking amazing. I love it. She has a huge wedding cake. Yeah. Just a time full of love and, and joy. Lots of unity. Yes. People are just happy, enjoying themselves. The food is great. You know, things are just working out. We, we did okay together, even though we fought yes. all the way through. Yes. Yeah.